Hope you're very well indeed. Magic Mike back again as usual. Hope you're very well indeed, okay? And last day I'm going to vlog and blog another great illusionist, okay, for the last 30, 40 years. He's a really pretty magician, actually. His name is Franz Harari, okay? He's an American magician. He's about 59 years old, okay? He's quite getting a bit old now, but he's a brilliant magician, nevertheless. And he's actually been one of the great inventors of magic the last 40 to 50 years, okay? His name is Franz Harari. So let's vlog and blog. This amazing magician, he's got some stuff on YouTube as well. His name is Franz Harari. Let's look at the little, the little life bar pick of the great. Franz Harari, here we get and go. Say, Franz Harari is a really good magician, actually. Um, one of the best magicians of the last uh, 50 years or so, actually. He's actually behind a lot, a lot of artists, okay? He's designed uh, uh, allusions to many, many big magicians, I think, and many big artists, actually, including, of course, Michael Jackson. In fact, he, I think in the mid-80s, he designed a magical Michael Jackson show, actually, touring the USA back in those days, okay? He's actually a great magician. He was born in 1962, so in Michigan, actually, New Jersey, it says, actually, in the United States of America. He's actually gone on, let's say, to do some amazing, amazing stuff. Now, let's have a look at some of the key allusions of Franz Harari, that's true on YouTube right now, you can actually see yourself, okay? And it's a magic illusion, I really would recommend checking out some of the amazing, illustrious back catalogue of the amazing American magician Franz Harari, seriously, he's very good indeed, okay? So look at the first illusions, okay, of him, I say he's quite old now, but he's uh, still doing stuff, including doing uh, documentaries and that kind of stuff nowadays about magic, okay? But I've also really liked him, now, let's have a quick look at him, before we back about 1990, actually. Well, at the height of his career, actually, he was about 30 years ago, so he's about 40, 30 years old. So he was a really good clip of me. Have a look at this now of him performing here. He does uh, some amazing kind of Michael Jackson type kind of dance routines, all right, in the Michael Jackson bad area leather kind of stuff. And then after that, he kind of gets in the body squizzler, gets twisted around and around and around the body kind of squizzler illusion, which I think he invented, actually. Have a look at this. This is him performing in very kind of fluffy here, 80s kind of rock star, because he's a rock magician on the Best of Magic show in the UK with the amazing uh, Mad Squizzler Twister routine. Have a look at this. <laughs> He's a very good entertainment magician, wasn't he? He actually did quite a lot of magic. There's, I think there's about 20 or 30 videos of him doing magic shows, and he did many, many illusions, okay? If I just have a look at some of the, the magicians, actually, he's actually done shows for, he's performed not only um, World Championship Wrestling and doing uh, the Black Scorpion, working with him as well, also, um, he actually worked for many artists, okay, designing illusions, okay, for their kind of stage shows. And NSYNC, remember the NSYNC? Cher, he worked for her, Snoop Doggy Dog, all right? He worked Tupac Shaker, Time Lock Sticks, Dr. Dre, Usher, Boys to Men, uh, Queen Latifah, Hammer, MC Hammer, MC Hammer, Tina Turner, Rabina, McIntyre, and Missy Elliott. He's done an awful lot of stuff, including also a show called Ragtime on, on Broadway as well. This guy's done a lot of uh, magic shows, a lot of stuff, okay. I've uh, worked an awful illusion to many people. He's quite a dream, quite a thinker, quite an inventor of magic. But one of the most inventive people I've actually ever seen in the world of magic. Seriously, this guy's a really amazing guy, isn't he? The 690 on Franz Harari. Now let's have a look at another illusion of his. We, I've, I've been through some of the key illusions he's got on YouTube, okay. They're very fascinating, actually, including Vanishing Air 
Pang Vanishing Space Shuttle and Vanishing, believe it or not, the Taj Mahal in India, okay? And the Vanishing Space Shuttle is really interesting. This is the first one we'll look at this illusion. This illusion was done, I think, about 20 odd years ago or so on, uh, on television on one of his NBC magic specials or something. He gets a real space shuttle, okay? He looks like a real space shuttle, puts it on real guitar mat, okay? Puts a little curtain in front of it and drops the curtain, and of course, the space shuttle completely disappears right in midair, right in front of your eyes in bright daylight. This is really amazing, okay? Have a look at this. This is the uh, amazing Vanishing Space Shuttle, okay? What a pioneering illusion by Franz Ruari with an audience actually there apparently on the scene looking at this. Have a look at this. So I've got my, 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 my thoughts about that illusion, I've got thoughts about that illusion, that whether or not the illusion is, is real, genuine or not, is the, I mean, you know, do you think, is that a real space shuttle or not? You know what I mean? You look at that, don't you? Is that a real space shuttle? Is that a cardboard cutout? What is that? Okay, I don't know. It looks good, doesn't it? I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? Okay, I can't, I'm not going to say whether, how it's done exactly. The audience apparently are there, apparently. Everyone always looking at this stuff and it looks genuine, doesn't it? But there's many questions about that. It's, it's, um, one wonders whether or not, remember that Dale Caulfield vanished Statue of Liberty, and that was a real object, okay? And what was great with the China, which is a real object. And once you wonder why France are always vanishing in their uh, space shuttle, and you start wondering whether that's a real space shuttle, is that forced perspective, is it a real space shuttle, is it a fake space shuttle, I don't know. Anyway, I'm making your own mind about that illusion, it's interesting isn't it, it's well worth seeing it, the space shuttle. But I've got to say, I've got to hats off and give it to Franz Harari for going ahead and pioneering these quite big budget magic illusions, because they're pretty impressive aren't they. Next illusion again is very similar, he does a vanishing, another vanishing of an airplane again, very similar vanishing airplane illusion, very similar to that of vanishing space shuttle. This is a fighter jet, okay, a kind of pioneering fighter jet. Uh, it looks like he's in the middle of the desert, Nevada desert or somewhere in the, in, in the USA. It's a big black kind of like those military kind of black uh, secret kind of military aircraft basically. It's up there in the middle of this uh, canyon, there's nothing around it at all. Raise the curtain, drops the curtain. Again, the aircraft, which is a black aircraft, disappears entirely in mid daylight. And there's no darkness, there's no mirrors. Is it mirrors? Anyway, it's interesting. Have a look at this um, quite impressive Franz Rory vanish of a, of, a, of, a, of a military black aircraft. Have a look at this, okay? Very impressive, isn't it? Again, there's a, I don't think there's an audience there. Again, I, it's very good. I just that makes me think again. I don't know what you think about it. Please leave your comments below what you think about these. Do you think these are good? Or do you think these are fake? What do you think? Is it a real airplane, a fake airplane, a cutter airplane? Maybe it's a real airplane. I'm not, not going to say what it is. I do love the idea. I love the concepts. I love the, the vision of doing these illusions. But it's pretty impressive stuff. But I have to say, it leaves a few questions in mind whether the airplanes really are real. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. But you make up your own mind and see what you think about, about those, those airplane vanishes. And the final illusion as well is a very similar kind of illusion as well. 
on this uh, vlog about uh, Franz Aron. I do love Franz Aron. I think he's a brilliant inventor and a magician. I really do. I think he's brilliant. And I like the original way he goes ahead and does this stuff, doesn't he? You know, it's very impressive indeed. Now, the last thing I should say is the Vatican Taj Mahal. This is another one on YouTube, okay? Probably copyrighted. So I'll probably take a little bit of it to show you guys. It's a, If you're really into magic, this is worth seeing. This is, he has an audience, uh, actually, of Indian guys opposite the Taj Mahal. Seeing as he's opposite the Taj Mahal in India, uh, uh, is it the Golden Triangle, is it? I love the best, I must go one day. And, it's, and you can see quite clearly there's a big, kind of frame, and you can see through the frame, you can see the Taj Mahal in distance, all right, the white Taj Mahal, and there's helicopter shots, it looks real, and the, you can see through the frame, in the distance, you see the Taj Mahal. Again, he gets a kind of cane, puts a cane, like a magic cane across the, the, the frame, and the Taj Mahal disappears entirely into thin air, okay? It's really impressive, isn't it? It looks really impressive. The audience look genuinely surprised, they can, shocked, okay? It seems to disappear. How do you vanish the Taj Mahal? Have a look at this. It's impressive, isn't it? Again, what do you think about that? Whether that's, well, you think that's good, or what, you, what do you think about that? Do you like it? Leave a comment below what you think about that illusion. I like it. Again, I, I raise questions about that a little bit. Is it is Taj Mahal real? Is it not real? Is the audience really baffled or not really baffled? Is that valid kind of magic? I know. See what you think. Let me know what you think about it. I, I love it. I like it myself. It just makes, it makes you think, is that a real bit of magic? But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Whether it's whatever it is, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? This guy is going out and out to do some big illusions, isn't he? Like Copperfield was. And um, makes you think, doesn't it, whether that's completely real or not. It's pretty freaky, isn't it? The vanishing Taj Mahal. How do you vanish an object in, in broad daylight, for heaven's sake? I don't know how you do that. Anyway, this guy's a big magician. He's, so he's done a lot, a lot of shows. He's still doing shows. He's still performing many big illusion shows. He's done many, many illusions. And I think he's a pretty, pretty, pretty magician. I do love it indeed. Um, and I just, I'm very interested in what you guys think about the, those, those vanishes, whether you think they're impressive or what do you think about them, you know, are they genuine to you? Do you think it's valid to vanish airplanes and objects like that? Or do you think it's fantastic? What do you think about it anyway? I'll leave it, it, it ball in your court to discuss it. Have you Jack Frantz is a lovely guy, nearly 70 years old and a very entertaining magician. And he's truly one of the great pioneers of, of, of magic in the last 50 years. And he's come up with many, 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 many kind of things um, to do, as I say, definitely, okay? And um, 2010 says here, he was been a, he's been on a magic TV series called The Indians of Magic Star in India, where he's been doing the Indian Star One channel as a magic guru, being given advice and judging many other people trying to do magic in India. So this guy's been around the world, okay? And he's also got a great website as well, okay? But a fantastic guy. Famous vanishing space shuttle, as you can see there, okay? And uh, let me know what you think about it. I love it myself, Whether it, whatever you think about it. I love those illusions, I do love it. I love Franz Ferrari, and I love what you've done, Franz. I think you're a fantastic guy, seriously. Have you very much, well, have you very well indeed. Please look after yourselves, okay? And the pandemic hopefully coming to an end over here in the UK, hopefully coming to an end. Have you got your COVID-19 jab as well, please? Please click the links below for 130 videos of Magic Chat Illusion. Please click the links below for that, all right? Please remember to subscribe. Help me out, please do, okay? So I can bring more, more, more magic and ideas to you, okay? If you don't know very much about about magic, I can help to teach you a bit about magic illusion. Seriously, last 40 odd years or so, I've got a lot of, lot of uh, thoughts about magic in my head from 40 years of doing magic, okay? I think I have to say, I'm off to London to do a bit of editing for my videos in my office. I think I have to say, okay, check out Franz Rory videos, he's a very fascinating guy. Please subscribe and see again very soon for some more magic and chat and illusions. See you later, mom, and bye for now.